and welcome back. If you're new, I'm Alicia Verwe here at Educating, where we're here to keep you on the cutting edge of education. Today's video, we're going to be talking about another awesome Google Chrome extension called Insert Learning. If you haven't heard of it, this is going to make your lesson planning life a breeze. So stick around. If you like today's video, don't forget to hit that like button. Be sure to share it with somebody you think could benefit. And don't forget to subscribe. Remember, there's the bell if you want to be notified every time we post a new video. So we're going to jump right in. Insert Learning is an awesome Google Chrome extension that offers a lot of flexibility and some great, great interactive tools. Keep your students on one website platform, have them do questions, response discussions, uh, all sorts of other things, and then send that directly to your Google Classroom. Yes, it's awesome. So I'm going to dive in and show you exactly how to use these features. All right, so here we are. I've just installed the Chrome extension, Insert Learn. It says Lessons plus New Lesson. So that's where you're going to go and create. It says let's create a lesson in three steps. It tells you your steps right here. Select a web page, add questions to the page, and send the lessons to your class. So we're going to click for a new lesson. Click the Insert Learning extension on any web page. Or find relevant engaging content within our educator curated search. make sure that you have installed Insert Learning. Uh, it is a Chrome extension, so make sure that you go to the Chrome store and install that extension. Also, be sure that your students have installed the Chrome extension for Insert Learning as well so that they can utilize it. So what I'm going to do first is show you from the standpoint that most teachers take. Typically, we have a resource we want to use as a website. Um, so that's what I've done here is I have this fake news uh, site that I want to use for my students how to recognize a fake news story. Right up here at the top you'll see that I have my insert learning extension pinned. So click on it. Notice over to the left it popped up. So you see right away that it is now activated. Um, so I'm on my site. This is what I want to do and I want to uh, sort of highlight some things that I want to be sure the students are paying attention to. So I'm just going to highlight this first sentence using the highlight tool. Now, if in addition to that, I want to do something else, there's a little plus sign right here, and it says I can enter a comment. So maybe I want to say, pay close attention to the fact that all of these stories are fake. Okay, so maybe reading it wasn't enough. Um, you can see it added in my comment. <clears throat> All right, so then we're going to go down um, and 20 top performing, performing fake news stories on Facebook outperform 20 top performing factual stories from 19 major uh, outlets. So maybe I want to add a question in after this. So if you look right here, it says insert a question, and I want to insert it having to do with this specific uh, paragraph. So there are base questions or STEM questions that you can use, meaning they're already pre-created. So maybe you want to ask them that. But in this case, I want to type my own question. So I'm going to click here and type um, how many major media outlets were discussed. All right. um, so there's my question and I want to create. And then if I want to turn this into a multiple choice question, I'm going to click in that box right here. It says turn into a multiple choice question. So you click and you just start typing responses. So I'm going to put 20, is, and you see when I hit enter, it comes up with A, uh, 19, 21, and 18, okay? And then I simply check the box for the one that is the correct answer so that it'll know which one uh, I want them to choose. And there you go. I have created a multiple choice question. Um, the little box looking thing here is a sticky note. So I can go anywhere in my article and add a sticky note. Um, 
check out what news outlet published it. So maybe you can insert a sticky note and click it there and say, uh, maybe I want them to stop here and watch a video that I have. So I'm gonna say, watch the video before finishing the article, okay? And here's the little video link. So if I click on it, I can create a video, okay? Or if I have a video, I can simply copy this link, go back over here and paste the link right here. And look what it does. It embeds the video so they never have to leave the platform. So they can play it directly from here. See? So now I have a video and I've kept them right on pace so they don't forget where they are. They can jump right back in. Um, the little bubbles is a discussion. So maybe I want them to have a discussion question. You do the same thing that we did for the other question. Click and add a discussion. Why is fake news harmful? That's a good discussion, discussion question, and we're going to create. And there you go. And you see it also allows me to say what classes, so I can set up classes just like you can with Google Classroom. Who do I want to answer this? And then they can post directly from here, so they never have to leave the platform to do all of this. Okay? And then if you click on the little dots at the bottom, you see that you have assigned to students, share it with teachers, edit lesson information, view it as a student. So if you want to see what the student view is going to look like, you would click view as a student and you'll see it comes up just like the student's going to see it. Now, right here, if you remember, I put a comment. That's why it has this box around it. It's letting them know there's a comment and if they click on it, it's going to give them the comment. All right. So then I want to resume from the teacher view and I'm done. So what do I do now? I want to assign this to my students. So I go over here and at the top where the icon is, I click the big IL. And if you notice when I hover over, it says assign. So that's what I want to do. And then I tell it where I want to assign it. And you see there's the Google Classroom image right there. Um, there's a lot of different ways to do this. If you use different platforms, you can simply copy the link. Um, and then paste it into any lesson that you want. And it will take the students directly to this site with everything already plugged in it. So there's another option for this that I want to show you as well. Let's say you don't already have your um, resource ready and you need some help. You need some ideas for your lesson. You have a topic and you want to find something. Go to the little dots at the bottom, this little uh, option menu pops up for you and at the very bottom you see it says go to dashboard. If you click that it's going to take you to the insert learning dashboard. This is amazing. There are all sorts of resources that are ready to go. So you see find content, tools embedded, um, their public library is here so if you click on it it has a ton of pre-done lessons for you. Um, so you simply can pick a lesson and it is already created for you. So I'll show you one that I added in here previously that I found, which is Columbus Day. And so this is already added. If you notice, there are highlights already in here. Um, there are discussion questions um, already set up. So this is all pre-created. Notice this. And you can edit this. So let's say you like what they have, but you want to add to it. You can do all the same features that we saw before and add to this and it saves it as one of your lessons. So when you go to your dashboard, all of your lessons that you create once you have hit that uh, option are here for you. So you see there's my fake news story. So I can also assign from here. So all of your lessons will be kept. You can use them over and over and over again. You can put them into folders and organize them or you can uh, create new lessons all from the dashboard as well. So I hope this was helpful. It gives you a lot of different ways to use this. This is an amazing tool. And that, my friends, is Insert Learning. Hope this was helpful for you.
Okay, so that was another great video we hope for you guys to cut down on some of that planning time and make some useful online teaching tools for you. If you're looking for some additional resources and tools, be sure to check out our Kami uh, video that tells you all about how to use Kami, which is another Chrome extension. And we also have an article on our website that gives you 10 awesome Chrome extensions that every teacher needs in their toolbox. So check those out. Um, I hope that you found this video useful. I hope that you find Insert Learning as useful in your classroom as I do in mine. I'd love to hear from you in the comments below if there's another great resource or tool, trick, etc. that you are using in your classroom. Uh, I certainly would like to incorporate it in mine, so please be sure to share. Also, don't forget to like, share, and subscribe our video. If you know someone that could benefit, share the wealth. All right, guys, happy teaching, and we'll see you next time.